similar to the march that we just partaked in on um, in Washington DC for the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King's speech, that we all come together and congregate around this issue of foster care. Because they need to see us in New York, in Chicago, in DC, and all of them. They need to see us out there with our sister and saying that we are united around this cause and we are no longer going to elect to let them decide what is going to happen with our families and our children. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, what is your name? My name is April and Deloro. Okay. And what borough do you live in? I live in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Okay. And um, how long have you been a foster parent? Currently, I've been a foster parent for going on 15 months now. Okay. Are you a kinship foster parent? Yes, I am. Okay. And what agency are you with? I'm with the New York Foundling Agency. And what borough? In the Bronx. Okay. So why did you come to FPA Foundation today? Um, I, find my, I found myself having a lot of difficulties um, dealing with situations and concerns through the agency, um, speaking to them and having proper communication with them. It didn't feel it was very effective. Um, I felt a lot of barriers and walls up on their end in regards to assisting me and supporting me, not only as myself as a foster parent, but in the services and um, the different things that the children needed to be successful in in the future in their reunification process. And I just felt that I had, I've been getting a lot of negative feedback and just had a lot of issues that I needed some help on and since the support was very lacking on their end, I needed to go outside and and find some support for myself. Um, do you know if your agency has a foster parent association? Um, I was never told or informed of any foster parent association. I was told of certain classes um, that I could meet other foster parents in, um, but as far as an association or an advocate, um, I was never given such information. Okay, so um, what do you think is needed um, to change the child welfare system? As a foster parent, um, what message would you like to share with the mayor, Bill de Blasio, um, the commissioner of, of ACS, Gladys Carrion, and the public advocate, Letitia James, about your experience being a kinship foster parent? That's a very hard question and a lengthy answer, but I'll try to make it short. Um, I just believe there needs to be more education and more insight for foster parents. Me coming in as a kinship, I knew nothing about the system beforehand. Absolutely nothing. I didn't even know or have any friends or family that were foster parents or even new social workers. So I did not know anything about this world whatsoever. And it just felt like I was thrown in a hot pot, pot of fire. and with no real direction and yet they, they did you know that to this day they do state that oh well we gave you this manual and we gave you this and um, just handing someone a bunch of papers and documents and saying here take it home and read it I don't really think is effective also considering the fact when I first got them I was so inundated on changing my life and doing things for the kids and getting them settled and learning all the things that I had to learn and taking them to all these appointments and visitation and mandated services, it was very, very overwhelming. And I just felt that I think that there needs to be more education, more support for foster parents. And so they don't feel like they're alone and they don't feel like they're the ones that are the perpetrators. Because I felt lots of times that, you know, here the kids are the victims of all this and I'm trying to give a helping hand and my helping hand is being chopped off not at the, the hand, but at the shoulder. And I just feel that there just needs to be more support and, and more education for foster parents. And like I said, I've, I've, I've felt over the last year and a half of me doing this that 
um, I was victimizing the children and in, in no such way was I. If anything, I was advocating for them, fighting for them, making sure that they were healthy, happy, and safe, and getting the services they needed. And I just felt that everything that I did, I, through the agency's eyes, I was doing wrong. I was doing nothing right. And like I said, I, I feel like I'm a perpetrator because with all the, 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 the feedback that they give me on my care and, and my job and my responsibilities and duties have all been negative. And I feel that in, in a lot of times I feel like I victimized someone and I did something wrong and that's not the case whatsoever. If anything that I have stepped up to make sure that these four kids that were in a very traumatic situation got to stay together because since I have a family relationship with them, I knew of them getting split up because they had such a tight bond as siblings because they didn't have no social network or no social activity in the outside world at all that if them being bro broken up was going to be devastating for them and I did not want that to happen. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm so glad you guys are here. You're welcome.